What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, yes, it's humid out here. I'm sweating like crazy, but yes, we're doing another pig video. Um, I've had an issue with coyotes out here in the past. Gabby has actually ran coyotes off from here. Um, wild dogs from here. Come here, Gabby. Gabby, come here. We'll get her over here. Come here, Gabby. Come here, Gabby. Come on. Where are they at, Gabby? Where are they at? So there's the hero, Gabby. Um, so we'll talk about her for just a second. Anyways, Gabby has defended the homestead like no other. Save my wife, save my kids. I mean, she is an awesome dog. But today, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to help Gabby in the fight against coyotes and wild dogs. Um, I have a buddy, a fellow Oki from Oklahoma, obviously fellow Oki, um, has a YouTube channel. Bill and Rosa off grid. Um, they have, they've had a YouTube channel for a long time. So Bill and Rosa have full time jobs and they homestead and they live off grid. Um, pretty cool little channel. If you guys get a chance, go check out Bill and Rosa off grid. If you like what they're doing, subscribe to them. If you don't, tell them Dutch said hi. I don't know. Um, anyways, um, he sent me, he sent me a shirt. My brother stole it. I got to get it back from him or I'd be wearing that shirt. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> but he had sent me a solar light. And uh, we talked about maybe putting them on the, on the sheep, on the sheep uh, for if anything tries to get in there, it, it's automatic sensor, comes on the tour. Well, that was before I got the pig set up. That's before my pigs came out here next to the tree line and all that. So what I'm going to try to do today for you guys, um, if I don't lose daylight, I'm going to try to mount this solar light onto my uh, dog house, which is actually a pig house now. Um, that way it will help detour any animals that come over here and trip that sensor, um, it will scare them off. So that just is a win-win. Um, it gives security to me that I know that's one extra level. Um, yes, a light is an extra level of security. And Gabby, Gabby's the main defense. I would say this uh, 24 inch hog wire is the main defense, but we all know it's not. If Cody wants to get into this pen, he can. Or she can set that right there. I've had many questions about this because this is the first time I've used this Premier One fencing. Um, Joe from Premier One hooked me up with this to do a test for raising pigs on your homestead, in your backyard, in the city, wherever you're allowed to have pigs. I'm proving that you could do it in a small space. This is a hundred foot long, hundred well hundred if you put it out lengthwise, it's a hundred foot. So I think I got like 15 by 15 by. 35 is that 100 foot so that's what it is so i'm proving you can raise multiple pigs in a small area yes you're gonna have some stink you're gonna have some of this some of that but later on in the future i'm going to show you guys how to fight that when the time comes but today i'm going to help give me gabby gabby if i can get her back over here come here gabs i'm going to help gabby fight the coyote problem and wild and wild uh wild dog problem um because we i've had several comments uh, dutch you think a coyote could jump over that uh dutch that's not going to keep coyotes out well the coyotes can jump six seven foot well i understand that but if that's the case if that's if that's what we're going to use to say this fencing is no good well i don't have seven foot fence anywhere on my property the tallest fence i have is four to eight inches and a coyote we know can get over that no problem so am i really worried about the coyote problem yes and no i've got gabby if gabby wasn't here it'd be a bigger issue um but we got gabby out here but now i'm going to put the solar light that uh bill gave me from bill and rose off Chris. go check them out if you get a chance like i said if you like them subscribe so let's see if we can't hook this up real quick it's just a 30 watt Light control, remote control, charging mod, waterproof and dustproof. He puts his on his, I think on his sheep or goats. Um, I can't remember which ones he said he had. So let's see if I can get this camera set up where we can see me trying to put this on the little pig shelter. pigs are nosy look at them I actually bought a solar light um, not this particular one but one you know kind of the same concept for my bunker that I need to put in there so there's a little solar panel it's already got the wires hooked up to it and it comes with the remote and here is the light all you do is plug it into the solar obviously it has the battery and everything internal. I may have to go find some screws to actually screw this down onto the doghouse like I'm wanting to do. So we'll see how this goes.
Well, see, I got it on auto. There you go. Okay, so I got the little solar light hooked up. Um, I don't know how bright it's going to be. Maybe it's going to work, maybe not. Uh, we'll see how it doesn't look real bright right now, um, but maybe I'll come out here in another hour or two and uh, have it turn on and see how much it lights up. It may just light up this little area, you know, and that may be just enough for that just to come on and uh, for them to scare the, the coyotes off. We'll see. Uh, that with Gabby and all this stuff, I think we're going to be just fine. I um, haven't had any issues um, in the last week or so. When I first got them out here, we've had coyotes howling and all that stuff. Gabby runs out here chasing them off. Um, it's it's kind of dangerous. Gabby, come here, Gabby. It's kind of dangerous to have Gabby out here. Whenever I know she's chasing them off, I always try to keep an eye on her because they run in packs. And a pack of coyotes can take out Gabby, no problem. Uh, so that's the last thing we want to happen. But usually, she doesn't just go off and chase them to the woods or nothing like that. She stays around pretty much the perimeter um, of where I mow. Stays out of tall grass for the most part. Um, and she, But she does a really, really good job. Come here, Gabby. Come here, Gabby. You say the pigs? Say the pigs, huh, Gabby? What is that? They got on you. The Gabby does a great job, not only protecting the livestock, but also protecting my kids, like I said before. Uh, so I hope you guys like this little video of me just sit setting up some security measures. Um, thanks to Bill uh, from Bill and Rosa Off Grid for sending me that light. Um, we'll see how well it works. Uh, hopefully it work it does the job. Um, it can't hurt anything by any means. So hopefully it just enhances uh, things better. Now these pigs have figured out that the electric fence is off. They keep hitting it, so I better turn it back on. In this, I've had this up for what, two, three weeks now, maybe a little bit longer, and I've had full charge the whole time, so it is, it is doing the job. So I have no uh, doubt that this solar panel will keep that lit up. And hopefully, the pigs don't try to eat that wire. Maybe as they get bigger, I'll have to tape it up some a little bit better or something, but right now, it's not gonna be in the way, but we'll just see how it does. Got the new automatic feeder going, automatic water hooked up, this pig pen, this pig pen is now complete. It has everything the pigs need to survive. So that is awesome. They figured out the, the little door on the automatic feeder. They've only had it out here for a couple hours now. Um, so if you guys notice, I'm making more than one video uh, today. I guess this might be later on the week. Um, just because, like I said before, I'm, I'm going to be gone for a day or two. And I want to have some videos ready for you guys to watch to enjoy. You can see the pigs are doing great. Uh, so everything's going good on the homestead. Uh, we are, they are calling for some bad weather um, here in the next several days. Uh, so that dog house actually works awesome for a little pig house. It's doing, it's doing its job. I'll have to upgrade as the pigs get bigger because there's no way three pigs are going to fit in. Well, they might. I don't know. We'll see. But not when they get 250, 300 pounds. But that's about the time whenever I need to butcher them. Uh, so, yeah, all's going well. Gabby's doing awesome. Come here, Gabby. Gabby's a hero. Like always, always saving the day out here on the homestead. She is a five-year-old German Shepherd, full-blood registered guard dog. Uh, I like to call her a guard dog because that's exactly what she does. She's a family dog, but her first number one priority on this homestead, on this farm, is to protect the family. That's why I got her was so whenever I'm gone, staying out of town for a couple of days at a time, I know I have the first line defense, as in Gabby. She does an awesome dog, awesome dog. She does an awesome job. Uh, giving security to the wife and, and the girls and me and uh, I, could, I could not imagine not having Gabby around she's awesome and she plays well with others <laughs> oh. things have sure greened up out here it has been for a while today is one of the hottest days Oklahoma has had so far and as you can see I've been out in it for several hours now uh, doing things around here making videos for you guys and it's time to call it a night. Um, I got things to do, like get the kids ready for bed and uh, gotta go to work in the morning. You guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you guys like it. Give a big thumbs up for Gabby. Gabby is a hero. Um, always chasing coyotes off and uh, chasing wild dogs off, keeping people at bay whenever they follow my wife home. It's just been, it's just been one thing after another with her, good things. Um, I just can't imagine, can't imagine life on the home set without her. She is awesome. Aren't you Gabby? Aren't you Gabby? Come here, Gabby. Come here. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.